Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Desmond, Developer Advocate at Sitecore. I'm here today to talk about Composable DXP and what that means for developers. Composable DXPs are becoming more popular and it's where the future of Sitecore and many online digital experiences are moving towards. I want to share three things that developers should care about when it comes to Composable DXP. Before we dive in, I want to give a quick intro of what a Composable DXP is so that we're all on the same page. After that, I'll cover the things that developers should be interested in in the Composable DXP world. So what is a Composable DXP? Well, looking at it with a bit of a marking definition, we see that a Composable DXP is a set of best of breed solutions assembled and integrated to create the digital experience you are looking for. That kind of comes more at a marketing definition. That's not really what I'm interested in. So let's look at this through the lens of a developer. And with that, we see that instead of having one large platform DXP created by a single company, we're breaking down what we need into much smaller task-oriented pieces. Many people are referring to these task-oriented pieces as packaged business capabilities, or PBCs. Individual packaged business capabilities could be one for email marketing, one for your customer data platform, CDP, one for e-commerce, one for search, one for hosting. So each of these individual pieces, such as hosting versus e-commerce versus search, is going to be a packaged business capability. This is where that composable DXP comes in. We're looking at very different pieces that we're gonna to compose together. And it's important to note that each of these pieces could be implemented by a different company. So there's a lot of different pieces that you're gonna be bringing in together. So essentially, a composable DXP is a set of individual tasks integrated by developers to accomplish your business needs. So that big piece is integration by developers. Coming from a Sitecore world, you might think, well, I need an e-commerce solution. Now in, for Composable, I can look at Order Cloud. You need digital asset management? Look at Content Hub. Do you require hosting? We're currently partnering with Vercel for hosting. But what does this mean for developers? Let's get onto this developer content. What does the world of Composable DXP mean for the developer? What skills should you be looking to improve to prepare yourself to move to this Composable world? First off is choices, choices, choices. The composable world is full of choices because now you're going to be choosing from a lot of different best of breed solutions to find what works for your business and what works for you the best. And I do want you, the developer, to be a part of these decisions. It's gonna be up to you to support the tech and be able to integrate with other pieces in your composable system. So not only should it have the marketing capabilities but it should be stable, extensible, and supported tech that you want to work with. Unlike platform DXP, where all the tools are created by a single organization, you'll be looking at many different vendors trying to find what will work and grow with you best. Prioritize what's important to you as a developer. Consider existing skill sets, community support, documentation usefulness, and other things that are important to you as a developer. Now, there are going to be lots of choices, but this means that you get to choose what's going to work best for you. The second thing that developers are going to want to care about is integrations. It's going to be up to you, the developer, to integrate all the pieces. Most of your work will revolve around connecting your DXP via APIs. And this is where that choice becomes very important in making sure that it integrates well with your system. And integrating these different pieces is more than just connecting data and passing around data via APIs. As a developer, you need to realize where the data will be used most, what and where data will be stored. Working closely with marketers will help you make the right choices. In addition to connecting via APIs, you may need to implement streaming, caching, and other strategies to best optimize your DXP integration. It's about enabling digital experiences working closely with the vendors and marketers to help you achieve this. And last, one of the big pieces that's going to come up and be important to you as a developer is deployment orchestration. Deployments in the composable world are something that may be trickier for the developer. You'll be working with different solutions built by different vendors that all need to coordinate and ensure that they are deploying properly. A thought out continuous integration and continuous deployment solution will be necessary. You'll want to make sure that each of your composable components can deploy independently. If you find yourself in a situation where X 
needs to deploy before Y, but Y depends on Z, and so on, they're going to have a difficult and messy deployment in the composable world. Think ahead and consider dependencies carefully. Deploying your composable DXP strategy should not make you uneasy. Some closing thoughts for the composable DXP space. If current predictions come true, composable DXP is the future. Companies, marketers, developers need to be able to adapt to these changes. Being a developer in this space means you'll need to be making educated choices on the software to use. You'll need to learn how to integrate packaged business capabilities, not only passing data around, but experimenting and innovating on how you can provide digital experiences. Last, you'll want to put time and resources into ensuring that you have smooth deployments. There's going to be a lot of moving pieces here, but that does not mean that we should be scared of our deployments. Embrace composable DXP. It's the future of digital experience.